Amidst busy morning traffic, Joey Bufalino is ecstatic. He is a social media influencer and as usual, talks to his fans via live streaming. He shares his plan to propose to his girlfriend, Claire McAllister, in one of the most beautiful places in America. They have been together for a year, and Joey thinks it is time for them to take their relationship to the next level. Claire is on the phone and simultaneously packing for the trick, when she finds a picture of her ex in her backpack. She stops talking for a few seconds, lost in memory lane, but pulls her back to the present. She is a busy woman running a company. Even though she has been working a lot, she enjoys it. Joey thinks it is a perfect opportunity to take her away from her busy schedule and pop the question. Joey picks Claire up from her home. For the entire journey, both remain glued to their phones missing out on the picturesque scenery around them. It seems they have all the time to talk to the whole of the world but each other. They soon start their hike and finally get off their phones when they reach the top of a cliff. Looking at the snow-clad mountains of Utah, they feel glad they took the time out of their busy schedule and came to this salubrious place. They share a drink to celebrate Claire's success on her app, becoming one of the most downloaded apps in the country. Joey goes ahead with his plan and asks Claire if he can shoot a time-lapse video of them eating and enjoying their time together. She doesn't mind, and Joey sets up the camera in position to record. He plans to propose to her in the backdrop of sunset when the orange-red hue floods every part of that place. But Claire is getting anxious to get back to work. She doesn't want to wait till sunset. So she makes a counteroffer that she'll wait for 15 more minutes, and Joey can give her whatever surprise he has for her. At first, Joey tries to convince her to stay, but when she doesn't get convinced, he agrees to wrap it up in 15 minutes. But before that, he wants her to take a few pictures of him for his online content. He makes her take his pictures from different angles when she steps a little farther into the cliff and falls off into the river. He doesn't realize it until he turns to look at where she was. He panics and looks down the cliff, where he spots her struggling in the river. He finds his phone stuck on the edge of the cliff. He grabs it and tries to call for help, but there is no signal. He starts running back but stumbles down the hillside and keeps rolling rolling down for quite some time. Natalie, a range officer, is busy taking pictures of the wild in the forest. Joey is still somersaulting when she sees him. She runs after him and finds him lying flat on his back. He is injured. Nonetheless, he checks his phone for a signal. When he doesn't get any, he tries to make the best out of the situation and tries to click a picture of the trees. Natalie runs towards him. He tells her his girlfriend is still in the river before passing out. Natalie sends an emergency message to her base. They send helicopters and ground volunteers for her search. Joey wakes up soon and asks for Claire. Natalie assures him that help is on the way, and they need to wait until the help arrives. As for Claire, the rescue teams are searching for her. In the meantime, she asks him to give a physical description of Claire. Natalie seems to have developed a crush on Joey. She removed his shirt while he was passed out, and now that he is awake, she cannot talk straight looking at his perfectly ripped body and his gorgeous features. She contacts the base again to give a physical description of Claire. Joey describes Claire in the most exquisite way, most of which is unnecessary information for the search operation. Her description is recorded and sent to the ground search party, who happens to be Colt McCoy, Claire's ex-boyfriend, riding on a horse. He starts riding towards Claire's possible location before the anticipated storm hits. Claire is lying unconscious on the banks of the river. She got swept away to a distance from where they were. Soon she regains consciousness and tries to call for help. It is already getting dark. She is completely drenched and scared of being alone in the jungle for the night. She wanders into the wilderness, trying to find her way out but gets freaked out by the sounds coming from all around. The only possible way she can think of to save herself from the wild animals is to climb a tree. She finds a tree with low branches and climbs on one of them. No one has reached out to Natalie and Joey, so Joey decides to start looking for Claire on his own. Natalie is excited about their walk together under the starry sky, but not so thrilled about the danger of roaming alone at night in the forest. Joey looks at her with puppy eyes, and Natalie cannot bring herself to say no. She is already enamored of Joey's good looks. She proposes they walk till it is dark and then set up a camp for the night. Claire has fallen asleep sitting on the branch. She wakes up and hears a horse neighing. She calls out and gets a response. Finally relieved that she was going to be safe, Claire sighed in relief. She starts climbing down and looks at the rescuer. It is an old flame, Colt. As soon as she looks at him, she starts climbing back up again. There is still some resentment between the two. Claire refuses to climb down the tree. Colt makes the call to the base and tells them that he has found Claire, but doesn't disclose the location. Claire is shocked at his audacity and asks him to call them back to tell them the location. But Colt has different plans. He will not let her have her way and asks her to come down the tree. When she acts stubborn, Colt decides to get her down himself. He starts climbing the tree but loses balance and falls to the ground. Claire climbs down to help him. He assures her he is fine, but he landed on top of his radio, and now it is broken. He has a cell phone, but there is no signal. So he suggests they keep to the higher grounds. Suddenly there is a rumbling of clouds which frightens Colt's horse, and it runs away. Colt tries getting hold of its harness but fails. They are stuck now. Their only option is to get to higher grounds and find a network so that they can call for help. They cannot seem to agree on anything and keep fighting. 
Joey and Natalie camp for the night. In the morning, Joey is blogging from inside his tent. He is sharing how concerned he is for Claire's safety. Suddenly the tent starts shaking vigorously, and Joey starts shouting, thinking it is an animal. But it turned out to be Natalie who was checking if he was up or not. She tells him they heard back from the base and that one of the horseback volunteers, Colt, has found Claire, but they haven't heard from him since. Joey gets even more concerned now hearing Claire is alone with the guy. He regrets not putting a ring on Claire's finger. He starts to get up, but his injured rib hurts like anything. Natalie insists they take a dip in the hot springs nearby. The minerals in the spring would help his muscles relax and speed up healing. Joey wants to go to the spring but does not want to admit it outrightly. So he twists Natalie's words and makes it sound like she wants him to get well before he starts looking for Claire. Natalie is happy regardless, because she will get to spend more time with him doing all sorts of recreational activities. Claire and Colt have been walking for a long time, and Claire is feeling hungry. Colt gives her the energy bar he's carrying, and she thanks him. They talk about Claire's wellness app and its purpose. While they're on the topic, Claire doesn't let go of the opportunity to rub the fact on his face that she has a boyfriend who supports her dream and they travel a lot. Colt finds the prospect of Claire traveling funny and lets out a chuckle. Claire and Colt have reached a scenic waterfall. Colt decides to climb the steep rocks to get to the top to find cell service. Claire is concerned that he will fall because he has no equipment to help him climb safely. Colt has to take the risk if they want to get out. So Colt starts climbing a dangerously steep rocky cliff. To keep him company Claire starts small talk. She asks if he still works on the ranch. He tells her he owns that ranch now. Claire is surprised as she thinks he is not ambitious. At least not when they were together. Colt is ready with a comeback when his foot slips, and he loses his balance but manages to get a hold and prevent himself from falling. But his phone wasn't that lucky as it dropped from his pocket and got smashed with rocks falling on it. He had to get down now that it was redundant to climb. He reaches the bottom of the cliff and slips again in his last step, and falls into the water puddle. He scoffs as Claire can't help laughing. Cole takes off his shirt to wash the dirt off. For Claire, it becomes a challenge to keep her eyes off his ripped body. Every now and then, she tries to get a glimpse of him. Natalie and Joey are on their way to the hot springs. Natalie enumerated the benefits of bathing in the hot springs, occasionally slipping in a compliment. Unfortunately, the springs are closed, and Natalie apologizes profusely to Joey. Joey tries to calm her down, saying he feels much better now after he has had the painkillers she gave him. Joey asks her to look at the bright side. Now they will have more time to find Claire. And he has not given up on his plan to propose to Claire. He enacts the whole scenario in front of Natalie, making her forget it is not for her, and she ends up saying yes to the proposal. Joey is confused, but she diverts the conversation to save herself from embarrassment. The storm is approaching, so they decide to find shelter. But before that, Joey has to take a picture of the cloud formations. Natalie helps Joey take a perfect shot by giving him tips on the best angles and lighting. Every other second they get distracted, and start admiring the lightning and the changing hues of the sky. Claire and Colt have found shelter in a cave. It starts getting cold, and Claire is shivering. Cole takes out a blanket from his emergency backpack and gives it to Claire. She refuses at first but takes it on his insistence. But that doesn't help much, so Colt sits beside her to share the blanket. Claire is curious to know how Colt managed to find her. Colt tells her he is not sure how because he fell asleep on his horse, and woke up when he heard Claire calling out for help. Claire finds it amusing that Colt's horse Bella found her. They discuss the further course of action as to how to get out of there. Colt says they follow the river, which will take a day's walk. Claire is not willing to spend another day, so she once again suggests a smoke signal. But Colt doesn't agree as it involves too much risk of starting a fire in the jungle that can spread rapidly. Joey and Natalie take shelter under a tarpaulin roof that they have made. Joey documents his thoughts. Natalie is curious to know how documenting one's life can make money. Joey explains to her the scope of an influencer and how he makes money being one. He admits it is disgusting to exploit this situation when Claire is missing, but this is what his job entails. He asks Natalie what she does on weekends. She says she hangs out in the forest or listens to Bob Ross. Joey is surprised at her lack of socialization skills, and asks if she ever spends time with actual friends. She doesn't have any, and the only person whom she visits is her grandmother. Joey encourages her to hang out with people her age. But she says people can be mean. At least nature doesn't hurt as humans do. Joey empathizes with her, but also makes her understand that one sour experience in life shouldn't be a reason to shun every human out. Suddenly they hear a sound. They find Bella coming toward them. The good thing is Bella came back, the bad news is Colt and Claire are not on her back. Joey thinks of mounting Bella, but she runs away before he can. Natalie informs the base about Colt and Claire missing as they might be in trouble. Claire wants to get back home as quickly as possible. She has many people to attend to. Colt urges her to look around herself. She has the most beautiful place all to herself, and instead, she focuses on her work. He asks her if she knows herself outside of her work. Claire gets defensive and says her work buys her happiness, her car, and her apartment. 
Colt rightly says that money cannot buy happiness. But for Claire, her dreams are more important. They argue for a while, and Colt asks her to slow down a little. Not just right now but in life. Claire has had enough of it, and she walks off, only to slow down a little later and see things around her. Seeing that makes Colt smile as he walks behind her. The two pairs walk through the most scenic places helping and talking to each other. A new bond is being formed, and some old bonds are rekindling. Laughter and sharing fun facts accompany them as they make their way through. Now that Claire is enjoying the place and the time, she is not worried about getting back to work on time. She suggests Colt build a raft and float down to the ranger's office instead of walking and tiring themselves. Colt agrees, and they look for supplies in an old shack they saw nearby. It is their lucky day as they find an old raft at the back of the shed. Meanwhile, Bella is alone and is also making her way through the forest. Claire and Claude are now rowing their boat. Colt sees a red-tailed hawk and reminds Claire of their high school mascot, and the first time he ever saw Claire. They reminisce about their memories from their high school. Claire asks him if he is seeing someone. Colt denies saying he hasn't had a serious relationship since Claire and he broke up. Natalie and Joey are also walking, and Joey's phone's battery is finally over after a whole day of documenting himself. Natalie is happy because now Joey will have to spend more time with her in nature. But her happiness is short-lived when Joey brings out a portable charger. Natalie doesn't want Joey to go back to documenting and not talk to her. So she takes his phone and hurls it away. To compensate for what she did, she takes her phone and throws it too. Then, unable to explain the reason behind her actions, she offers to search for them. While doing so, she spots Claire's jacket on the tree branch. Joey climbs the tree to retrieve it, and Natalie assures him they are on the right track. While rowing, Claire talks about all the delicious things she'd like to have. Colt asks her if she is up for a grilled fish. They get down in the shallow waters and start fishing. Colt teaches her to catch fish with bare hands. She manages to catch a fish but gets bitten by the fish on her finger. Colt tends the scratch as one would do for a child. Claire thanks him for finding her. They have a hearty meal of grilled fish over Colt's funny anecdotes. He tells Claire they are some 15 miles from the ranger's office and will be able to make it soon. But Claire likes her time with him and out in nature. She suggests they camp for the night and start the next morning. At that moment, Claire misses being with Colt and who they used to be together. Colt wonders why they parted ways. Claire was ambitious and wanted to see what she could do on her own. Natalie and Joey haven't found Claire yet. They, too, are resting for the night. Natalie apologizes for throwing away his phone earlier. He doesn't mind. He starts talking about his interests which he never really shared with anybody. He likes clouds and wanted to become a storm chaser, but he was not good at math, so he dropped the idea. He found it easy to take his phone out and make adventures rather than chase adventures. Natalie, sensing the regret of giving up on his dream in his voice, suggests he become a storm chaser. She encourages him to go back to school, find a math tutor and work his way to achieving his dream. Joey laughs and asks her to slow down, but deep inside, the thought is stuck with him. The next morning Claire wakes up next to Colt. She likes his presence next to her when all of a sudden, she hears a helicopter approaching. She tries to wake Colt, but the helicopter is long gone by the time he wakes. Claire is disappointed they missed it but gets furious when in a tongue slip. Colt ends up saying they are only a couple of miles away from the ranger's office. She accuses him of lying to her. Colt apologizes as he has let his feelings take over his decision. She finally reveals why she left Colt. She wanted to go out and follow her dreams, while Colt wished to stay in the town he grew up. But Colt retorts because she disappeared on him without giving an explanation. They were engaged, and he was heartbroken when she left without telling him. With increasing rage, Claude gets carried away and says some mean things about Claire. Claire is not ready to take an insult from him. She declares this is the worst rescue operation. They quarrel for some time before Claire storms off. Natalie and Joey walk while Natalie tells him fun stories from her job. Her shoelace is loose, so Joey offers to tie it for her. Joey likes Natalie's company as she is easygoing. There is a moment between them when they stare at each other for a little too long, indicating their igniting feelings. Natalie thinks she might not get another chance, so she is about to confess her feelings when they hear shouting. Claire is still blabbering angrily and walking, when suddenly she comes in face to face with the bear. She freezes there. Colt quickly removes his backpack and asks her to climb onto his shoulders to make themselves look bigger. They start shouting to scare the bear away. Natalie and Joey run towards the shouting, and find Claire sitting on Colt's shoulders, trying to shoo away the bear. Natalie advises that they need to do the same, and together, the four of them make the bear leave into the jungle. They hoot and celebrate their feet. Joey finally reunites with Claire, and he can't wait any longer, so he asks Colt to hold his phone to record. He then gets down on one knee and proposes to Claire, which goes very awkwardly as Claire is unable to say anything. And Joey, without waiting for an answer, puts a ring on her finger. Natalie looks at them with helplessness, and Colt looks uncomfortable holding the phone and sensing the whole awkwardness of the situation. Somehow nobody looks happy. Natalie offers to send a truck to drop them near their vehicle. 
Colt helps them get to the ranger's office. On the way, Joey gives Claire her jacket back. Claire tells him she must have forgotten after seeing Colt again. Joey wants to know how she knows Colt, and Claire promises to tell him in the car. Claire looks at her ring and decides to stay away from her phone for some peace. Joey again brings Colt into the conversation and asks Claire about him. Claire confesses they were engaged once as they were high school sweethearts. Joey feels guilty now that he had requested Colt to record his proposal. Joey knows the proposal was weird because it didn't go quite as planned. He was not thinking straight. He told Claire the entire purpose of this trip was to propose to her, but now that he thinks of it, he shouldn't have done it. Claire starts laughing because, in the middle of the proposal, Joey thought she would say no, and he almost took the ring out of her finger after putting it on. Joey joins in, and they both realize neither of them is ready to commit themselves to each other. Claire gives the ring back to Joey and asks him to drop her somewhere. Joey had a feeling she would say that. Claire also asks him to help her record something. It is a message for her staff to let them know she is going to take a week off, and after that, she will work remotely. She trusts each team member will fulfill their responsibilities, and she has faith in the work going smoothly as ever. She has a personalized message for each of her team heads, accompanied by a raise adding the cherry on the cake. Joey drops her off at the ranch at her request, assuring her that it will work out if it is true love. Claire also asks Joey to call Natalie. She is cute and left her number with Joey's backpack. Joey turns his car back and meets Natalie, who is more than happy to see him back. Claire finds Colt grooming one of his horses. He is surprised to see Claire there. Claire apologizes for leaving without saying anything, and for all those things which led her to make a bad decision. Colt also apologized for making her feel like she couldn't confide in him, and lying about the range office. Claire asks for a second chance as both she and Joey realize it will never work between them, because Claire is still in love with Colt. Colt still isn't sure because he doesn't want to come in between her and her career. But Claire assures him he will not. She also tells him she has made arrangements with her employees. Claire then asks him to stop making so many assumptions and kiss her already. He obliges. They ride on a horse against the sunset for the rest of the evening as the cold breeze blows. In the end, Claire holds Colt tight. 